Live from Studio 46, this is CBS 2 News. Health News Now, there are five and a half million people with Alzheimer's in this country, and that number is expected to triple over the next few decades. And while there is no cure, there may be a non-drug therapy that can slow the brain-robbing disease. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez tells us it is dancing. That's right. It sounds simple, but there's actually some very serious neuroscience behind this. If you think about it, dancing involves hearing, vision, motor skills, memory, remembering dance steps, and emotions of the music you danced to as a younger person. Activating all those brain circuits could be important. Okay, it's not exactly an Arthur Murray dance class, but the ladies gently stepping out at the Bristol Assisted Living Center at Lake Success on Long Island are part of an important study into whether dance can have a beneficial impact on Alzheimer's disease. The person who makes it happen is Cecilia Fontanesi, a PhD student in neuroscience and a trained dance therapist. She explained to me how important her eye contact and facial expressions are to connecting with the residents. I just mirror people now. Naturally. We call mirroring and is a nonverbal sign of you are seen, I'm with you, I'm listening. The Bristol Center is a memory care home that is partnering on the study with the Feinstein Institute for Medical Research at Northwell Health. The study compares the residents who take dance therapy with those who don't. There's a battery of tests at three-month intervals to measure the participants' cognitive function. Dr. Peter Davies, a director of the Feinstein Institute's Litwin Zucker Center for Alzheimer's Disease and Memory Disorders, says there's a strong reason to believe that dance can help. Looking at the instructor, the music, you have to think to some extent about how to move. And of course, memory, um, if the music's appropriate. And integrating those varied brain circuits may make the difference. And if not, the residents had fun. My thing is what I feel, that I can do something a little different is wonderful. Now, there's no cure for Alzheimer's, and the medications that are out there have very limited impact on the disease. So anything that can slow the disease or even improve function somewhat can be a huge boon to patients and their families and caregivers. And unlike drugs, there are no bad, no bad side effects mm -hmm. to dancing. No, None. just a lot of smiling. As long, you know, as long as you don't mind embarrassing yourself like I would if I were trying to dance. But other than that, Come it's fine. Come on. <laughs> I think you're being a bit humble there. <laughs> you're a little harsh. Dance. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Thank Dr. you. Dad.